Cheers, Natalie. Fans are plenty from both these two teams. They've made it to the Vox Park Stadium, hoping that their team will get at least one more outing in this competition. There's a warm embrace between the two managers ahead of the national anthems here in Hamburg. Equal passion and a few Czechia players with tears in their eyes as they sang the national anthem in Hamburg. It's quite simple for Czechia, they must win here tonight to qualify for the last 16 for Turkey. Simply got to avoid defeat. Turkey will make a massive eight changes from their second group stage game. Jintel Mantella. Not particularly popular back home given the number of changes that he made, but Gunnok starts in goal, a back four, Muldur, Akaidin, Demerel and Kadiolu, Usek and Urchan holding in the middle with Yildes, Kalanolu and Guler behind Yilmaz who leads the Turkish line. For Czechia, just the two changes for them, Schick is injured, Czerny is also out as Barak and Hitil come in, Shanek in goal, it's Holesh, Ranach and Krejci at the back, so foul, so check, Provod and Jurasek uh, across the middle with Barak just behind Hatil and Hocek who are leading the line win or bus set for Czechia for Turkey they must avoid defeat Scott Minto former Chelsea start alongside us Scott Czechia is that well they know what they've got to do but knowing what you've got to do and doing it are two different things absolutely not and we've seen that before haven't we you know and even in the last 10-15 minutes we've seen some games that have really you know, lightened up we've seen others just almost just waiting to the last kick of the game still you know, the other team waiting for one team to go for it to show some kind of vulnerability and it's not really happened so I've got to be honest with you I'm really not sure about the mentality my guess would be it would be a, a quite slow burner in the first half and the second half will pick up if one team scores and the other team needs to get another goal okay for Turkey then you mentioned got a bit of inside info from the camp uh, <laughs> through your uh, hairdresser but um, what do we make of all those changes one game one then made a host of changes get well beaten by Portugal then make another eight changes I mean even changes goalkeeper for the second game yeah you know I'm surprised by the amount of changes and it, it kind of smacks a bit of don't know what you're doing you know you haven't really found after all the build-up to to the crescendo that is the euros you, you just flip flopping all the time so i don't think it's good i think it's almost getting a little bit lucky if you can go through but again the fact that they just need a draw i think will really really help and the bottom line is as well they've got fantastic individual talent where if they do need a goal someone can do something uh, about to get underway then the countdown on in Hamburg and the countdown on to the end of someone's tournament but will it be Czechia or Turkey who will make it through could well be both of them as the ball is played forward and Czechia in there red shirts, blue shorts and blue socks are attacking the goal away to the right and the all white with a red band across the chest of Turkey and it's an early throw in for Czechia and they're going to look to launch this now with Sofal about 20 yards away from the corner flag launches it into the edge of the six yard box he's flicked on and there's a chance at the far post keeper comes and the referee eventually is blown up for a free kick there at uh, Isvan Kovac the uh, official in the middle but that long throw caused all sorts of problems wow within the first minute as well as good as a corner that one we know that Sofal has the long throw in him it's also, also about the flick on. There's a really good flick on in that kind of corridor of uncertainty, but clearly the referee saw a foul there. But a good positive start from Czechia. Yeah, it is, of course, tonight the end of the group stage. No games tomorrow or Friday, but fear not, we're back with more live action on Saturday as the round of 16 kicks off. Five o'clock, Switzerland, Italy. Well, of course, of all the build up to the action over the weekend tomorrow and Friday I'll tell you what the way the Euros have gone it's been an absolute level isn't it it's really difficult to call who's going to go on and, and win this tournament at the moment. Spain obviously have played really well Germany in two games but did they have the, 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 the quality teams against them so I, I 
think it's a fascinating one once we get to the next stages. Yeah, it is indeed. Ball over on the far side with Turkey. They're trying to work it over halfway, but now there's a possible break on here. And breaking forward come Czechy, and now they'll work the ball out onto the left-hand side. It's pulled back here for Barak. Edge of the area, shot comes in, and it's beaten away by Gunnar. And behind for a corner, the effort from distance from Lucas Provod. And already in the other game, and this is a really big goal. Georgia had taken the lead against Portugal, and it's Varic Scalia, the man of the moment for Georgia, but here's Scott Minto, nearly a goal for Czechia. Wow, goal in the other game, and very nearly a goal here as well. Corner whipped in towards the six-yard box, skims off a Turkish head, it will fall on the far side. Chance to put the cross in towards the back post, keeper comes, and Gunnock in fairness in the opening two and a half minutes, he had two really good involvements, one the save, and then second the collect from the cross, and now they're looking to counter here, but the ball poked out of play. Well, what a start in the group tonight. Unbelievable, and I don't think the message will be passed out about what's happened in the other game maybe at half time maybe but it is interesting to see how things will, will turn around and it looks like Georgia maybe just go up to, to third place so that, that should be enough for them four, four points, points will get them through yeah it certainly will so they now all of a sudden the equation over on TalkSport 2 changes because now they've got something to hang on to and that brings its own pressures well, obviously, what it means is it's not good for, for Czechia. They'll be finishing bottom, but the way they've started here, there's every chance they can create chances to, to get the win they want. They yeah, can. And they know if they win here tonight, they will overhaul the Turkish side. There's a foul right on halfway there. Going to ground was Hatil, one of the two changes. Demiral was the player that brought him down right on the halfway line. But it's been all action here. Early chance for Czechia. Good save as well from the keeper. Yeah, it's been Turkey very much on the back foot. They need to get hold of the ball because at the moment it's all about Czechia. Again, the intent of Sufal where really where he was throwing the ball. You could have just thrown it just five yards and, and carried on play, but no, clearly it was the intent. If you get within 30, 40 yards, use it as if it's a free kick, get it in the box. And again, very good start from Czechia. Ball played down the left-hand side for Czechia, but the keeper again Gunnar will come out and collect it. Well, this has been a really entertaining group. There's been plenty of goals and certainly plenty of intent to score. You mentioned the Czechia stats from their last game. Might have ended 1-1, but I think if they'd have scored four or five goals, you couldn't have complained. Absolutely. Uh, and that's what you want. You don't have to have lots of goals to have a very good game, but it would be nice just to have lots of opportunities. I say we're only at five minutes in and we've got a couple of opportunities already from check it. Mm -hmm. Ball long and forward for Turkey here trying to get in behind. That's a good header from Holles, but it's picked up 25 yards out from goal here and there could be a chance for the shot. Eventually they'll play it wide to this near side. Turkey have it edge of the box. They're popping off the passes here. Kariolu onto his left foot. Gets it out here now on this near side. Goulet has it inside the edge of the area. Two in front of him. Pokes it towards goal. There's a slip though there. And eventually the ball goes behind. Uh, it was Chalanoglu who just couldn't hold his feet there. But they had plenty of white shirts in and around the edge of the area. And Czechia will be happy that's gone behind for a goal kick. Yeah, it's the first real time that Turkey have been able to get forward and get their quality players on the ball. You know, you can see they've got talent, just the way they kind of dribble a little bit and, and hold themselves. So if they are able to get little one-twos, I think they, they can trouble Czechia, but at the moment, not really had too much of the ball. No, Demiral has uh, given it away and forward now comes Barak, middle of the Turkish half, but almost uh, dispossessed himself there and Turkey get white shirts around it and now they're looking. You can see their plans quite obvious, they're looking to break on Czechia. Uh, but they've got to get support up and, up and around Yilmaz if they're going to have any joy with that. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I'm not sure whether it's by design or not, or just the way that the, the game has started, the fact that Czechia have been on the front foot. Again, we talked about, you know, Turkey don't need the win, so they probably will try and play relaxed. But they've not been able to get three or four passes together. Right now this is the first time they've been able to do that. And just calm Czechia down, but won't lose the ball straight away. Yeah, I'm working it down that left-hand side forward come check here it's uh, Juracek looking to get the ball in towards the edge of the area it's cleared away from Hatil and Turkey now will just look to bring the ball forward and into midfield they go and Cariolo down this 
Turkish left, advances all the half ways. Running forward, Yildaz to his left. Yildaz now level with the edge of the Czechia penalty area. Goes onto his left foot, pass one. Now onto his right, tried to shoot, and that shot takes a deflection. And it's behind for a corner to Turkey. Well, you asked me what I thought it'd be. I said, I don't know. It could be quite cagey. It hasn't been, has it, in the first six minutes? It's been a really open game. Really enjoyable to watch. It has. Czechia nil, Turkey nil here on TalkSport. Mark Wilson with a former Chelsea star, Scott Minto. And elsewhere in the group, a potential upset. Georgia in front against Portugal have made lots of changes. Portugal group winners tonight of no relevance to them. But Georgia it certainly is. And they are in front early on. That game live over on TalkSport 2. Remember, every game of this tournament live on the TalkSport network. Corner for Turkey then, down their left. It's going to be a right-footed, in-swinging corner. Whipped into the six-yard box, headed upwards. Can the keeper keep it in? He should do. But Stanek gets on the end of it after uh, Socek's header went up in the air. And check you have it back. Stanek all in black. The keeper bowls it out. The forward can check in out midway inside their own half looking again to get in down the sides but a little bit of miscontrol there from Hatil couldn't keep it in and it's out four and he's throwing but signs already that they are looking to work it down either flank checking and they're committing bodies forward absolutely the, the, the Turkey fullbacks got quite happy to try and push in and that sometimes can leave a 2v2 for Czechia and Turkey having to deal with that at the back, so they've just got to be careful. I think the fullbacks just sit in a little bit, especially when Czechia are, are on the attack. Yeah, Turkey advancing forward this time down there, right? They'll pop the ball out over on the far side. Just happy to pop off a few passes here. Czechia just getting back into their defensive shape. Well, the ball played over the top, and they're looking to get in behind here, Yilmaz, down the right-hand side of the penalty area, is all over him, real tussle between the two, Krejci pokes the ball to the touchline, and Czechi will play it forward, looking to hold it up on halfway, but no joy, Turkey get it back, nil-nil here, eight and a half gone. Remember, a point will do Turkey, that will see them through. Czechi must win. And an early shot, an early chance that was well saved by Gunnar, the keeper. Now Turkey happy to have it at the back. It just seems like Turkey realised that's weather, a weather a bit of an early storm there. They're just trying to calm things down here. Absolutely, and just looking at Czechia as well, they're not doing a high press. They're quite happy for them to come onto the halfway line. And then once they get there, they're then trying to win the ball back. But just looks like just in the last minute or so, the quality players of Turkey are getting on the ball. They are. Here's Yildaz now, again down the left-hand side. Had uh, players in support outside him, but couldn't find Chalanolu. The ball works its way back, then it's given away. That was a really poor pass there from uh, Yukshek. And the ball now works its way forward. We'll check it. They'll eventually go back to their goalkeeper. But just signs Turkey is starting to pick their passes. They're trying to find a bit of space. Yes, they are. And, uh, as you say, after that initial burst by Czechia, it's kind of just in the last couple of minutes gone how I thought it might be. Turkey having a little bit more on the ball. Czechia trying to press, but, but not just going for it. They realise it's a game of 90 minutes plus. They only need to score one if they do keep a clean sheet. At the moment, Turkey just getting back into the game. Yeah. So goalless here. The fans in great voice. It's been a great tournament, fan-wise, and I guess for that point of view, Germany's perfectly well placed, isn't it, in the centre of Europe for fans of all the countries to come and watch their team, and they've turned up in great numbers. Yeah, atmosphere brilliant, and it has been throughout the whole of Germany, as you say. I mean, I, I think they do know how to to host a tournament. One slight criticism, I'd say, would be some of the pitches. I don't think have been of standards, not for a tournament like this. But, uh, but generally speaking, it's been a really good tournament so far, but we know it hots up in the knockout stages. Fun, if you like, has not yet begun. A little tug back there, and that was unnecessary foul from Antonin Barak. 44th cap for him tonight, and he just pulled back the Turkish play. He's going to get a booking here. Well, has he said something? I mean, the foul itself was pretty innocuous, wasn't it? Pull of the shirt, maybe, but... Yeah, I mean, he, he kind of went round him, didn't he, the left-back, Cadiola. He's a, he's a right-footed left-back, looks like a central midfielder, he's the way he plays. He kind of went past Barak, who just grabbed his shirt, it was one of those where 
you know, you, okay, you can get the ball past me, but you ain't getting past me. And technically speaking, I think the referee's right. He pulled his shirt, he pulled him down, he made sure he couldn't go past him. That, that is a yellow card. Looked a little bit innocuous at the start, but I think it was the right decision. Yeah. Well, Turkey have got the ball back just inside their own half here. Yildaz is starting to see a lot of it on this near side, but he's lost out. He's screaming for a handball. He's not going to get one. It's very congested in that midfield. There's always seems to be a lot of opponents around the ball. There's a ball out for a throw-in on this check here right now they'll lay it back can they get the shot away no they can't didn't quite fall for so check edge of the area good header from Holesh flicked on further fall by Provod but Turkey again get it but you can almost throw a blanket over them uh, there Scott there'd be about 15 players underneath it absolutely and it was a decent clearance as well from Turkey because it was a little bit of an overload on the other side if they had got the ball to the left hand side and it could have been a two on one situation so Turkey did well sometimes you try to play out sometimes you just get rid of it I do think when Turkey are on the ball, they look like they've got the, the more talented players. But also, Turkey just look like they know exactly what they're doing, a very well-organised side. Yeah, nil nil here. As it stands in the group, Czechia are bottom. And now forward come Turkey. And there are four players up in support here. The shot from distance, it was ambitious from Goulart. Well, he's got all the talent in the world, this young man. Why wouldn't he have a shot from distance? But that was ambitious even for him. Well, he scored a, a wonder goal, didn't he, against Georgia. And he was hoping for something similar there. It was really good play, actually, from Turkey, because you can see, again, in midfield, the Czechia Czech team were like, we'll hold, we'll hold, and now we'll try and press. And they just managed to slip the ball through. And he's running with it, Arda Gule, and he's certainly got the confidence to say, right, if I get within 30, it was probably 25 yards away, I'm going to have a pop. In the end, it wasn't quite a great strike. Yeah. Check it, have it on this near side. So check with a little flip round the corner. They are trying to work the touch lines, check here, and they're going to earn another throw in here, just short of the halfway line. There's a few words being exchanged with a check here midfield. It almost feels like they're, all, they're almost getting in each other's way at the moment. Yeah, it's after that initial start, it's kind of Turkey being in control of the situation at the moment. Very frustrating if that happens, and certainly if players are getting pockets of space, you want to try and sort that out. They need to go back to how they started, really, and just stick the ball in the channels. If the fullbacks are going to go tight and, and go up from Turkey, then there will be space in their channels. Well, there's going to be space here for another long throw in. Demiral having just put the ball out for a throw in, is quick to retreat back into his penalty area, but this time they play it short. Now they've got a chance to put the cross in here. Holesh whips in the ball, it's not the best, and it's going to be cleared away, but not convincingly. Shot comes in from distance, and in the end, it was straight, thankfully for Turkey, into the arms of Mert Gunnar. That shot from fully 30 yards out, thankfully for Turkey, straight at the keeper. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, uh, I'm thinking, as he's running up to it, do not shoot from there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably 35 yards. It was a wonder strike, but I mean, he's still not going to beat the keeper from there, but at least he hit the target. Yeah, and here now is a chance as they break through. So far down the right, puts it in. Chance in the centre of the area and missing his kick at the far post was Hocek. If he gets something on that, that's a huge opportunity. Check here in down the right hand side. The ball rolled into the penalty area, and really, Adam Hocek should be putting that in the back of the net. Well, it was a really good run, and it was a really well worked move, I have to say, down the right hand side. Again, going down that channel runs whip the ball in Hocek made the right run he just couldn't quite get in front of the defender and therefore get the ball as well but to keep on playing like that that's how to try and get it Turkey yeah it is interesting the two West Ham players so far and Solcek involved there still 0-0 no, no, 15 gone here a point will do for Turkey but remember it stays at 0-0 no, no. The more you start to get nervous for them because the longer it goes on, one goal could send them out. But so far, so good. But uh, their keeper's been a little bit busier early on than he would have wanted to be. Yeah, as we saw with the, the Scots in the last game, it was almost who's going to blink first. And obviously, Stevie Clark had to. And it started to open up with 10 minutes to go. I hope it happens a little bit earlier than that but to be fair it's been a reasonably open game already yeah good ball forward Hoshek that time did really well to hold it up and he's earned his side of throwing right by the corner flag here and as was shown in the opening 30 seconds they have got that long throw if they need it from Sofal 
And this time it looks like he is going to put it into the penalty area. Check here on the attack then. And he launches it towards the penalty spot. He's flicked onto the far post and a free header over the top. And that was a huge opportunity there. Granach up from the back. There were three or four red shirts unmarked at the far post. They're all on side. He's got to hit the target. Got to hit the target. Not the easiest because he's almost underneath it and therefore he has to generate its own power. But absolutely right, Mark. You have to hit the target. Even if it means, because it was a free header. Even if it means you just wait that half a second before you jump. There's no doubt about it, those long throws from Sufa will cause problems here. Here's Yilmaz going the other way, holds it up on the right-hand touchline. Galer gets it back and Turkey will retain possession, but early stages, check here on top, but they haven't got the goal they crave. All out to this near side, Kariolu has it. Works it down the left-hand side and will get the ball back. Czechia just looking to hold their shape here. I think one thing we know about Czechia, they're not going to chase the game unnecessarily, are they? They're going to be patient when they have to be patient. No, absolutely. Again, it may be evening time, but it's still warm. And if you're just running around for 90 minutes, then you will be very tired at the hour mark. So you've got to time your runs, you've got to know when to try and press. But they, as I said, they are a very well-organised side, so it's a... Really interesting contrasting styles between these two sides. Yeah, the Galair was just clipped as he got the ball away. Referee happy to play had advantage here. Nil nil in Hamburg. And we're on talks for two. Portugal nil. Georgia one. Georgia threatening to qualify in their first major tournament. No surprise plenty so far. The ball back to Gunnock, who just knocks it long. Czechia will head it down. Nice little cushion header from Croatia, and they'll go eventually back to Stanek. And they'll build out from the back here, Czechia. Just asking for players to make the pitch a little bit wider, which is exactly what so far we'll do on this right-hand side. They're trying to draw Turkey out of position. And Turkey and fairness have been quite stubborn. They're just holding their shape. I think this is maybe what, as you mentioned earlier, is what we expected early on. Just to be a little bit cagey, it was real open start, but Turkey has realised they need to shut that kind of action down. This is a miscontrol into the area from the keeper, and almost nicked by Turkey there. And eventually they'll work it out to that far side. They still haven't cleared the danger though. Check it here. A chance for the cross. Again cleared towards the edge of the area. And for the first time, Czechia were in real trouble there. And it came after Stanek's misplaced pass. But they've worked it up towards halfway. And now they come forward on halfway. Barak will turn in the trouble. He's given it away. Referee says play on. There are Turkish players down already. And we could be, we could be about to see a red card here. Because Antonin Barak has pulled down a Turkish player. And he's picked up a second booking inside the opening 20 minutes. This is a disaster for Barak and for Czechia. There are Turkish players down all over. Socek is appealing to the referee. I'd like to see it again, but it did look like it was a foul. And the referee has got no hesitation here. Red card for Czechia. And Antonin Barak sent off. Wow. I mean, we talked about the first yellow card that we thought could have maybe not been given, but I think it probably was right. I think he's got the ball and he's got two Turkish players around him. He's been hustled out of it and he's stretching and he's got his foot on top of a Turkish player. Look, I, I think that's a foul. I think it's very well good pressing from Turkey. I don't think it's a yellow card. And I, I know you shouldn't be thinking, oh, he's second yellow card. It doesn't mean it's either a yellow card or it's not. On its own, I don't think it's a yellow card. I think it's a mistimed tackle because he's just lost the ball. But it's not in any way worthy of a, a yellow card and that's that's going to really affect the game as well especially for Czechia so Czechia who have to win tonight are down to 10 what they're showing a replay of, of the first one he's probably pulled him back and trying to trip him up I think that one is the second one particular I think you can give him a warning for absolutely it. it's a foul but it's not a yellow card you know not every foul has to result in a yellow card 
I think just because he's stretching and he's caught the Turkish player on the top of his foot and he's gone down, it, it looks worse than it is. But for me, yes, it's a foul, but it's not. And wow, that's completely affected the game now. It has. Remember, a point will do for Turkey. And they've got a player advantage as Jonas cuts in off the wing. Do you know what, Mark? We've seen referees, certainly in Europe and, and, and in the Euros, sort of erring on the side of allowing a bit of physicality. Now, that again, I repeat, it was a foul. But you just completely affected the game now by the decision you've made. He'll say, well, he thought it was a yellow card, so it doesn't matter how it affects the game. But I, I can absolutely, it's not going to be a clear and obvious error. VAR aren't going to get involved in that. But my goodness me, not a second yellow for me. Yeah. Well, that does change things here. Czechia have to win, and they are a player down. Barak sent off for two bookings inside eight minutes. And he is dismissed from the field. Now the ball headed forward. What the Czechia do here? Well, they're appearing for a handball, and they are going to get a handball. That time, it was Urchan who's was above his head so a set piece and we know that Czechia are very good from set pieces and this may be their way into this game they need a goal from somewhere and they've got a free kick it's very central it's about 30 yards out maybe 35 yards out interesting if they can make an angle here I'm not going to say it's their only way of scoring but it's going to be very very difficult to create lots of opportunities now so when they do get the set pieces with the height they've got so important to get a good ball in Ball is whipped in towards this near side. There is a free header across goal. There are player Czechia players there. Shot comes in from Ranak. Ball's not dealt with yet and eventually it bounces away from Thomas Socek and behind. But what they are doing, they're winning first headers at set pieces. Absolutely, and it looks like they're about to win the second uh, knockdown as well. So ab completely, when you get the ball wide in terms of not just open play crosses, but Soufal. If you can get it in the box, get it in the box. Any free kicks, just get them in the box. Sometimes it might be a little bit route one but now because you're down to 10 men you're going to tire a lot we know how good turkey are individually on the ball they'll just try and pass 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 and tire Czechia out again i'm not suggesting that the first half is the best opportunity or the only opportunity to, to score for, for Czechia, but they, they have to when they get into those situations put the turkey defense under pressure because they have looked vulnerable yeah, Anton Barak becomes a second player sent off at this Euros after Ryan Portis was dismissed in the opening game against Germany. What can Czechia do? How do Turkey approach things now? Do they just sit back and almost let Czechia run themselves out of steam? Well, that's the aim. Just keep passing. Well, that's a nice ball over the top. They're trying to work in behind. That looked like handball and then... Well, the back pass was almost a shot over on the far side from Czechia, but the referee again comes to the aid of Czechia, and it is a handball. It looked all over a handball, didn't it, there? Yeah, absolutely. The ball headed down by Yildaz. It's come off his head onto his arm. But, yeah, now that's it from a Turkey point of view. You know, if, if anyone thinks that, oh, they can just relax a little bit, we know that the, the 10 or certainly the 9 out four players of Czechia will give it absolutely everything, so just takes one player to switch off the turkey then it's the equivalent of the 10 v 10 again yeah. make the pitch big pass as much as you can one two touch and tie the tire check here out yeah. nil nil almost 25 gone you're live on talk sport Matt Wilson and the former Chelsea star Scott Minto here over on talk sport 2 Portugal nil Georgia one as it stands Georgia going through Paul works its way out to the Turkish left-hand side. They're trying to work in behind, but across comes Holesh and does really well to clear it. Ball is still in play, though. And Kadiolu has it. He gets it into the centre of midfield now. The ball is going to be brought forward by Urcha. He's got support arriving on his right-hand side. Midway inside the Czechia half. They feint across and retain possession. Kuller just pops the pass off there to Yüksek. And now they're just toying Turkey. They're waiting for Czechia to come out of position again. It's patient from Turkey. Remember, a point will be good enough for them. And the Turkish fans in good voice here. They have the ascendancy. And now they're looking to work their way into the edge of the area. Cariolo just lays it back. Chalanolu, he gets it away. 
And Czechia just sat back here. They've got no inclination to go chasing the ball. They're just trying to shut the space down at it's, the moment. It's difficult for them, it really is, because of it. they know if they do chase that they can't do it for the full 90 minutes. But Turkey being very clever, the way they just pass, pass, pass. Yeah, yeah, OK, they might take three, four touches, but generally speaking, they'll pass. Well, here's a chance on the edge of the area, working this way to the area. The shot comes in, it's blocked from Yildaz. Works its way back to Cariolo. He puts a look, good looking cross in, and the acrobatic effort from Galer was blocked by a good tackle from Preci. It's out for a corner to Turkey. Well, he's just cheered to the Czech fans as if he scored a goal himself. Well, he may well have stopped one. It's a lovely little ball in, and he was free. You have to say. And he's just come across Preci. It might well have been a hell of a goal if he wasn't there, but. In the end, very good defending. Yeah, the Galea's effort was blocked. He takes the corner, whipped in and headed powerfully. Headed wide. That was a big opportunity for Akadin. Heads it wide. It was he, of course, got that horrible own goal against Portugal. He almost redeemed himself, but couldn't get the header on time. Oh, he looks, looks a threat as well at set pieces, isn't he? And sometimes Turkey shouldn't be afraid to do that. Just put that in the box. And when they have got height like that, you never know what can happen, but Turkey are very much under pressure now. Turkey taking control of this game, control of the tempo of the game. Yeah, the Czechia bench looks quite worried. As you can imagine, they've had a player sent off inside 20 minutes here. They, of course, will protest that it shouldn't have been two bookings, but the referee's made his call now. There's nothing anybody can do about that. Well, I'm happy to protest on their, on their behalf. I don't think it was a second yellow, but... Look, as long as it's nil-nil, they're very much in with the shout of still winning this game, even if Turkey end up having 70 percent percent possession. Well, now they're breaking out from the back. Good-looking run from Muldero over on the far side. Lays it out, across, whipped in, keeper. Just parried it momentarily, Stanek. And then collects it. It was Yulmaz who whipped it in from that right-hand side. But Stanek, please, there was nobody between him and the ball. And in the end, it's a comfortable save. Yeah, Yulmaz himself wants to be on the end of those, doesn't he, really, rather than being out on the wing whipping the balls in and again even where Czechy have the ball Turkey know they've got that extra man they can make Czechy go long yeah well they do go long and the ball is collected by Atil who then commits the foul although he's protesting that he was fouled and Czechy at the moment are feeling that things are just going against them a little bit Demiral it was who was awarded the free kick yeah a little bit unlucky in terms of the free kick. I didn't think it was that way. Was, again, just a bit of physicality from both sides. 50-50 play on. That's what you want to see. The Czechia shouldn't be afraid to, to go long if they need to. We talked about the channel runs and the full-backs naturally from Turkey want to try and push forward. There will be space in behind. Yeah. I think already Boimar Hatil has shown that he can hold it up if they get the ball anywhere near him. That might well be the Czechia outlet. Nil-nil here, 29 gone. Live on Talk Sport, but crucially check here a player down. After two bookings, uh, Antonin Barak now in off this left-hand side. Again comes Yildaz, he's given it away. Check here, wanted a free kick, didn't get one. And they've turned the ball over, and again it's Cariolo on this left-hand side. And there's three midfielders all stood in the middle of the field for Turkey, just looking to put a pass, a short pass. Now Arda Gula has it. It's almost taunting. Czechia defenders to come and get him. Here's Yilmaz again on that right-hand side. Not too many in the box to aim at, so they're just working it from side to side. And now they'll come towards this near side where Demiral has made forward progress. He gets it away to Yildaz. And this is just like a, a training exercise. Uh, trying to prize Czechia out of position, but Czechia hold their shape. Now they'll get a free kick. And that's good play. There could be another booking coming here. And that is going to be a booking, and that is for Sally Urchan. Well, in fairness, it's a pullback, so the referee, if nothing, is being consistent. Yeah, but one thing Turkey have to do, they have to keep 11 players on the pitch. He's got to be so careful now, Urchan, that if he thinks he can get a 50-50, just don't go for it, just jockey the player. If he missed times a tackle now, the referee will absolutely be quite happy to stick out that like second yellow card. Yeah, but a missed control from Holesh and his clearance is blocked on this near side by Will Dazzle's looking to play in behind here. Holesh tries to get back, can't stop the go forward of the 
Turkish winger and now he'll bring in his fullback Cariolo and they'll switch play across to the right Turkey enjoying more possession more territory ball tried to fire in it's cleared away by Provod but here's Yilmaz trying to get to the byline puts it into the box and it's poked behind by Socek for another corner I think Turkey since the the red card have handled this game quite well they've stepped up in the ascendancy they've handled it really well Mark absolutely they know exactly what to do quality individuals get on the ball pass it stretch the game and even when Czechia win the ball now in their own third there's no one up the field to pass it to corner about to be swung in in swinger from the far side of the ground and it's headed away right in front of goal by Socek then Sofal heads it away and Turkey will get it back on the far side Madagalaire plays it down the right hand side cross comes in I think it hit the back of the defender and out for another corner but if I'm the Turkish corner taker there Scott Minto that ball's landed right in the middle of the six yard box there's not a white shirt in sight you only look around and say excuse me I can't do any more than that I've got an opportunity again Madagalaire's going to swing it in again into the six yard box good header at the near post by Patil the centre forward back helping out defensively the 10 of Czechia defend it nicely but now what we're starting to see is Turkish defenders are playing 10-15 yards over the halfway line so there's no way out at all but Turkey have given the ball away and out for a throw -in. no they have and you know it's almost that Hollywood crossfield 50 yard ball that, that doesn't need to happen Turkey just needs to just pass 10-15 yards no more than that again Czechia just dropping back They've been very honest, getting all 10 players behind the ball, but once they, they do win the ball back, there's, there's no one to play it to. They talk about being a, a training ground game, it is a bit like that. It's a defence versus attack at the moment. It is. Check here coming forward now, trying to win through bodies. Good challenge goes in, Turkey have won it. Yilmaz has it. Now he's driving forward towards the edge of the area. He's got Galer in the area. Nice block edge of the penalty area. Olesh will turn. Might need a bit of help from Sofal here, he gets it. Hollis could do well just to put his foot through it, plays it forward. Again, it's picked up by Turkey, there's a check play down. Eventually, the referee stopped playing, and you could argue he didn't need to. It's clearly a foot injury for the check, uh, the Czechia player, but they're not happy at all, the Czechia players. No, I mean, they wouldn't pick it out. No, it's an opposition player, it's not a head injury. They're down to nine men, really, in that sense, aren't they? We saw that last night in the England game, didn't we? That the referee stopped play for what was not a head injury. It was a really strong challenge, but you'd have to say they won the ball there. That was uh, Yuksek who won it. Real strong challenge went in. And now there's bookings coming out here for the... Well, it's one of the players who... On the bench who's been booked now for Czechia. Confirm who that is in a moment. I think it was Sheik, isn't it, who's been booked? Very strong bit of a tantrum on the sideline he's not happy even the managers trying to calm them down even Hasek they're frustrated here Czechia they need a win remember over on TalkSport 2 tonight Portugal nil, Georgia 1 that result means that Georgia as it stands would qualify as uh, one of the best third place teams the big losers as it stands at the moment by the Czech Republic are hungry who will miss out on one of those best third place spots they've been really disappointing now, haven't they oh goodness me I'm sure they deserve to go through really I was expecting a lot more from them all the reaction to the group games and the build up to the last 16 on TalkSport and TalkSport 2 over the next couple of days all the big names out in Germany previewing all the action the last 16 starts on Saturday at 5 o'clock you'll hear every game of this tournament live across the TalkSport network ball on to this near side Turkey have it again they're attacking the goal to the left again Yildaz cuts in gets the ball away forward now comes Akadin gets it out wide on the right foot Muldo's getting the ball back off Yilmaz 
And it's keep ball for Turkey. He's trying to pull Czechia from one side to the other. Little floated ball in here. Down the channel. They'll lay it back. They've got it right on the byline here. Left hand side of the penalty area. Neat footwork from Yildaz. Can he work an opportunity? He's gone past his man. Well he beat his man about four times there. Scott, if you were the full back, you'd be happy to let him go past you again. <laughs> Third play to Vladimir Sufal, yeah, absolutely, and, and one thing you've seen in him in the West Ham shirt, he will always give his all, even if he's not having the best of games. He went past him about three or four times with Yildiz, but he yeah, wasn't quite able to get the crossing. Well, something's happened after the ball went out of play, because Yildiz has just gone in the book. Now, there's a player down, I think it's Ranach, who's gone down, up, clutching his ankle see anything at the time and in fairness to Yildaz he's come, he's come to the referee having been booked just to trying to clarify his view of the uh, situation there but I think what we saw from the Czechia play there he was making certainly making the referee aware that he thought there was some foul play in that yeah, that's brilliant skill from Yildaz and passed two foul two or three times he's, he's caught him well I'll tell you what the more you look at it and with slow motion as well, and I hate slow motion, I've got to be honest with you, but it, it, that was a second yellow on the other one. Again, I suppose he's being consistent, isn't he, referee? Yeah, I think you've got to say that. It, it, you know, the, the fouls on either side have been pretty similar, and he's booked them all. So, I guess, what you say for Anthony Barak is he's the unlucky one that happened to make two fouls. Well, he shouldn't have done that shirt pull in the first place, should he? And that, that is a soft, silly first yellow. But no matter what position you're in, you know you're one moment of madness away or mistimed tackle away from getting sent off. Well now, Kenan Yildaz is involved in a challenge and this time Sofal has gone down clutching his head and it almost feels like Czechia here are trying to make every stoppage in play a problem for the referee. Now it was Yildaz who was involved and he's got to be careful here. He's just seen a player sent off on the other side. Absolutely. He's on a yellow card. It's just gone down, or oh, Sufal's just gone down. Not yet seen a replay of exactly what happened, but he's had a Turkish teammate come over to him and just say, listen, again, what I said earlier, do not go down to 10 men. Absolutely game on for, for the Czechs again, if that's the case. Let's keep them under pressure. Well, the elbow does make contact with the side of Sofal's head, but I think it's a genuine attempt yeah. to raise himself off the ground to head the ball. Yeah, firstly, you can completely understand why Sofal's gone down. He, he did catch him with his elbow in his cheek, but it was a it was a natural movement to try and jump up in the air and head the ball away. And Yildiz just needs to be careful, because that will be... The, the Czechs will be going at the referee all the time about that. Maybe it's just one, again, mistimed tackle away. Yeah, we keep on showing it. And the referee is happy that we'll get back underway. We've got just over six minutes to the break here, live on Talksport. Mark Wilson, Scott Minto, and Natalie saw your team here on Talksport. Over on Talksport, Tillian Danton, Darren Bennett taking you through Portugal against Georgia. Still 1 0 to Georgia which means, as it stands, it's they who will make it through as one of the best third-place teams into the last 16. Here it's nil-nil, a rare opportunity to attack for Czechia. And again, it's another foul, this time Chalanohu with the foul. And it was Patrick Schick who was yellow-carded, and, well, he'll miss the next game if there is one for Czechia in this tournament. <laughs> it's an absolute lack of real discipline as well, Dis lack of discipline. My goodness me. He must have known he was already on a yellow card. And then when you're down there in the last game and you feel like everything's going against you, a game you have to win. Sometimes you can just lose it a bit. And referee again is running over and he's calling out Sufal and Kariolu, the fullback for Turkey saying no nonsense well one thing that Czechia have done is win headers from set pieces they've got a set piece it's, again it's central that's the problem for them 40 yards out they split either side of the penalty spot this time they go left towards the far post it's headed back across into the area but there was a push in the back there by uh, Thomas Socek and it was pretty obvious as well he 
Got to be a little bit better than that. Remains nil now. Yeah, difficult to try and generate the angle when it is so central. But, but they kind of did that. And Suchi just needs to be careful at the far post. We know how good he is in the air. We've seen it in the Premier League. And those opportunities, you know, you're not going to get many. Coming up to what, more than 40 minutes now. Like maybe half a dozen more free kicks or long throws that they might well have to get into the box. Can't afford to give away a foul. It's, it's interesting, really, that Turkey have had 64% of the possession, yet not one shot on target. Turkey have had two. Yep, they have. Ball headed away by Czechia, picked up by Chalolu. Gets it away to Yilmaz, feeds it out wide on the Turkish right-hand side. Turkey coming forward again, four to go to the break. They've got that player advantage. The part was sent off. Inside 20 minutes for two bookings. Czechia just trying to hold firm here. Whilst it's 0-0, there's still a chance. If they go behind, then they're right up against it. Ball works out wide to Muldur, the fullback. back over the edge of the area, a little flick. And now into the area, they go. Shot comes in, it's blocked by Socek. Did well. And then it's just volleyed clear over on the far side. A Eurosec. And a bit of head tennis ensues. And Turkey will bring it down on halfway. And then go all the way back to their goalkeeper, Gunnok, who was really busy in the opening 10 minutes. We've barely seen him thereafter. No, and you can understand why. I think even before the sending off, Turkey was starting to impose themselves in terms of the possession and passes, even more so since. Turkey have it again, working forward. You see the five and the four across the edge of the penalty area for Czechia here. Ball, edge of the penalty area. Turkey will feel a goal, will almost guarantee them a spot in the last 16. And feign to shoot with Keriolo. Now they will get the shot away, dipping effort from the uh, far side at the ball too high and eventually over from uh, Chalinolu well, good defending from the Czechs you have to say the shot came in just outside the box and he was a, a little or enough under pressure to not be able to get it on target my worry for Czechia is in those situations how on earth are you going to get the ball back down the other end you know you're, you're just absolutely spot on there 5-4-0 just feel they need to get someone a little bit more up front and, and lose so maybe one person in defence. It's almost like a 4-4-1. It can still be solid that way. It's still be difficult to break down. That was a high... Well, it wasn't necessarily a high foot. It was more a low head there. And there was a collision there. It was Vladimir Sofal, whose foot was probably about knee high. And I'm afraid he's having a word with him here. I think he's got a case so far. So, well, wasn't his head a little bit lower than it should have been yeah I think he's almost falling into it hasn't he you accept and so far it has to go for it he can't not again I mean, that, that's sensible refereeing there it's a foul but it's nothing more than that Turkey have it inside the final 90 seconds so will be a little bit of added on time we have had a couple of stoppages Turkey as you'd expect dominating possession but yet to have a shot on target as though they're coming forward here cross deflected up into the air Yilmaz was arriving but too late ball cleared away but recycled by Turkey have got it back Chalinolu on this near side will just swing the ball towards the edge of the centre circle and forward come Turkey again looking that was a risky pass the break could be on here that was a risky pass but there's only one Czechia player driving forward here what can he do going it alone needs support support right big chance Czechia great save really good save it was Juracek who is in support and Gundok saves the Turkish Wow, what a great opportunity. And I talked about that possibility of counter-attack, how that was going to happen. It was a brilliant run, I think, from high tilt. He ran with it 50, 60 yards. He still had the ability to know exactly where Eurosic was. Yonok saves Turkey for now. Can they work a corner? They will. It was a risky pass, wasn't it, from Turkey. They put the ball at risk and check here as they want to do, break away. And I'm with you, he tilled it really well and Eurosex hit it, hit it hard, it was on target and yeah. up with a fine save. I mean, he tilted so well with the run and then with the weight of the pass as well. The keeper had to come out, so you're thinking, this is a massive moment. Good save in the end. Three minutes added on here. Check here down to ten, but have got a set piece. Resist their way into the last 16. 
Corner swung in towards the six-yard box, headed away, it'll fall. 25 yards out from goal. Holesh is going to stand it up towards the far post. It's headed towards goal, headed up in the air by Turkey. Headed back into the six-yard box and headed away again. And Chalanolu just says, let's get rid of this. Downfield he goes and now Turkey will look to break. If they can get it forward, Yilmaz momentarily was one-on-one. -on -one. But Galea was run off the ball and Czechia get it back to their goalkeeper. He's got to uh, just be careful with his touch here, but it was very well, Stanek. Had almost a minute and the two added on here on Talksport. And Czechia, despite being the player down, have just created the best opportunity of the game and it's almost given them extra confidence now. Absolutely. Best chance of the game by far. Turkey in control of it. They're just playing keep ball. It's almost like they're not even trying to have a shot at goal. The way that... Patil ran with the ball there and just brought in the two Turkey defenders, slipped it to the side. Oh, Jurcic will be thinking, if only if they don't go through tonight. Yeah. Well, at least he hit the target, didn't blaze it over or anything like that. But we mentioned that Hitil has got that ability to hold the ball up there. There was nothing on when he got it inside his own half and he's run at four or five defenders and still managed to find the space. He's one of those sort of tall, lanky players that doesn't look quick, but he's got a really long stride on him. It's difficult for defenders to catch him. Yes. So he got a rather fortuitous throw in in front of their own dugout. For a sec. I mean, that's a really good save from Mark Gunnock. We've just seen a replay of it. It's on target. It's going inside the near post. He can't do much else other than maybe try to dink him. I mean, Gunnock's come out and made himself so big. He's struck it well. He's got it on target. That's a really good save. It is. Into the final 60 seconds of the minimum three added on it. It's still 0-0 in Hamburg. This has been a superb group for us as, new, as neutrals to watch on. Plenty of entertainment. Might not have had any goals tonight, but the thrills and spills are plenty. It's a late drama at the end of the first half. Turkey have it, are they? Going to put it at risk again. I think that was a real lesson for them. They, they went for the one-two and Czechia pounced upon it. Not often had the opportunity to do that. Yilmaz has it. I'm not even sure Turkey are that concerned about getting the ball into the area at the end of this first half. They might now. They look for the crossfield switch. Out on the near side is Cariolu. He could put the cross in. We've played the three minutes now. How long's the referee going to add on here? Golo with a shot that's over the top and that will probably be it for what's been an action-packed first half here we cut the ball the Czech fans they're not going to give it back just yet in fact the referee has blown the half-time whistle here well Czechia started really brightly in the very first minute a long throw caused all sorts of problems in the Turkey penalty area then a shot came in from Krejci from 25 yards out that Gunnot did well to beat away but then two quick bookings for Anthony Barak the first for a pullback on the show he can have no complaints about the second one possibly could have been waved away as a free kick on him he was shown his second yellow and a red card and then Turkey took control of the game but they had plenty of possession in and around the area but not a shot on target the big moment came right at the end of the half after Hitil burst his way forward from inside his own half he laid it away to uh, David Jurasek and his shot was fantastically saved by Gunnar the point will send Turkey through for Czechia they need a win it's all level at the break it's Czechia nil Turkey nil Cheers, Natalie. Yes, there has been a change at half-time. Sally Urchan has uh, gone off from the field. Now, he was booked in the first half, and he has been replaced by uh, Khan Ayan, the experienced Galatasaray player. So, uh, a little bit of a uh, reshuffle there. And maybe, Scott, before we go through the teams, a little bit of common sense as well, because Turkey well aware this referee is more than happy to show a second yellow card. Absolutely. And I think that's what the players will be thinking. That's what Vincenzo Montello will be thinking as well. Do not, do not give the referee an opportunity to level things up here. So yeah, competitive midfielder already on a yellow card. You know, let's stick it, to, keep it to 11. There's no way that Turkey should not get at least the draw out of this. But if it's 10 v 10, suddenly the psychology of the game completely changes. Well, on the attack already here, Turkey breaking into the edge of the area with Yilmaz. We'll give you the uh, check here, team. Stanek, the goalkeeper, back three of uh, Krejci, Hranic and Holesh across the back. As uh, Turkey have the ball midway inside the uh, Czechia half. Jurasek, Provod, 
So check and so foul are the midfield four. Here's Yilmaz trying to get in the far post. Sends it across goalkeeper, flapped at it. And it might be a good thing he missed that because that header across his goal, he's on his line. If he parries that out, it's straight into the feet of a Turkey player. Thankfully for him, he completely missed it. Absolutely, and it looks like Turkey are trying to get that goal. Well, we saw Czechia in the first half, at the be very beginning of the game, want to start on the front foot. Turkey certainly doing that now. Yeah, here's Yilmaz again. Gets another cross in, it's headed behind for an early Turkey corner. We mentioned that midfield four of Eurosec, Provod, Socek and Sofal. Uh, Barak has been sent off and Hitil and Hocek were the front two for Czechia, but an early corner here that Chalanoglu is going to take on this near side. Turkey looking for a goal. If they get a goal, surely they will go through again. The referee laying the law down at a corner. It's going to be swung away from goal. Flicked on at the near post. Falls to the far post. Shot comes in. It was hit, but high and wide in the end. Uh, and well over the target from uh, Kenan Yildiz. Uh, Good night in goal then for Turkey. Mulder, Kaden, Demaral and Kenyolo. Across the back, it's uh, Yuksek and the uh, substitute Iron in the heart of the midfield with Yildiz, Chalanolu and Guler and Yilmaz in the advanced four positions. He's had a swing and a miss, the keeper at that Stanek. He's got very fortunate indeed. I think you're absolutely right. I think he's got lucky that he's kind of missed it completely. If he'd have palmed it out, there would have been a, a Turkish player to, to try and... Well, there would have been a simple tapping in the end if it had fallen to his feet. In the end, it just went away from goal. And Czechia certainly got away with that one. Yeah, nil nil. As the ball played for by Czechia, but the keeper, Gunnok, who made a couple of really good saves in that first half. One to deny... Kreishi, and then the second right on half time to deny Juracek who did every, he did it the target it was a great counter attack from Czechia maybe the way in and well, Czechia will be quite happy I think if this goes to the final 10 and it's still 0-0 Scott they only need one goal they're not particularly bothered when it comes no absolutely if they, as I say if they chase it now they will tie it in the last 10-15 minutes and the way that Turkey are capable of passing the ball around and they could easily score one if not two towards the end so they've got to stay in the game and now we get to 80 minutes absolutely try and step it up go a little bit longer yeah. now they're working it on the edge of the area but given away Czechia will try and break and will try and play it out on this near side I think oh, if they could have kept that in it was just too powerful the ball forward it was Juracek again advancing forward just couldn't keep it in yeah it's a, uh, again he brought the ball down and defenders are, are off him and down to 10 men and you're the the sort of lone striker as it were who sometimes even drop it into midfield the centre backs of Turkey have to get tighter there well they've won it again on the halfway line of Czechia now this is a problem here for Galer who's going to be booked that was a strong challenge there in fact it might not have been Galer it might have been one of the other uh, midfielders uh, Yuksek I think it was who's going to come away with a booking but that was a robust tackle on halfway and another yellow card got to be careful they're totting up now which as the game, when the game goes on into the latter stages, they will get tired as well. If they make a, a mistime challenge again, even if you know, it goes down to, to 10 v 10 with 10 minutes to go, the way that that will lift the checks, the Turkey just have to be really disciplined. Turkey have done well going forward but a couple of times they've put the ball at risk and a couple of times Czechia have turned it over now they're looking to go forward themselves Czechia but they head a, to Hitil a little bit of a panic clearance though at the back straight up in the air edge of the area brought down wonderfully shot deflected and in the arms in the end Hocek shot deflects into the arms of Gunnar but that's another half chance for Czechia and these chances are starting to pile up now absolutely I think it is Daniel who just completely panicked and Hoofed the ball up in the air as a habit, wasn't it? And brought down superbly by Hocek. He managed to get a shot off, but in the end it was deflected. At least they're playing a little bit in Turkey's half and final third as well. Not going to score if they're sitting back the whole time. No, well, they're not. They've got to pick their moments wisely, but signs they are doing that. Here forward go Turkey again. Five gone second half, still Czechia nil, Turkey nil. 
Turkey will as it stands be going through oh nice little bit of skill from Yilmaz takes him past one pulls it back to the edge of the area big chance great block not yet cleared shot comes in fight save Stanek Galea's effort blocked another shot comes in Czechia defenders throwing everything in front of the ball and it's smashed in Chalanoglu fires past Stanek into the far corner and Turkey have got their goal Czechia were defending as though their lives depended on it but the ball breaks to Chalanoglu and he slams it in the bottom corner Czechia nil Turkey won and that goal has all come about from the positivity run from Baris Yilmaz on the right hand side he likes to come out on the right from that centre forward position he could easily just passed it he didn't he went past one player another couldn't catch him he's whipped the ball in it's a wonderful save I have to say from Stanek but no Chanelolu comes in shows the class that he's got it's a massive goal in the context of the game certainly for, for Czechia Yildaz thought he'd done enough first of all it was Sufal who made the block Stanek made the save a couple more blocks but still Turkey didn't give up without a doubt they've been told look you need to be more positive in the final third but what a strike that was it's almost from the outside of his boot that he's coming onto it it's a wonder strike giving Stanek no chance whatsoever class player class goal the Turkish captain fires in a shot an unstoppable shot into the bottom corner just an inch inside the far post Stanek so unfortunate there made a great save and if anything maybe Czechy just had a moment to clear it they panicked you can understand it the ball was in and around their area they didn't clear it and there was Shalanohu who fires in I'd say an unstoppable shot into the bottom corner it was wonderful it was one of those where in slow motion it's kind of spinning it's come off not the side of his foot the outside of his foot it's a wonder strike Stanek is struggling now with his shoulder there's no way he was getting anywhere near that. Again, I go back to the run from Yilmaz that started it all, that put Czechia on the back foot. And they carried on one, two, three opportunities to try and score, but no, they still went for it. And the ball fell to Chanelolu. What a strike that was. I'm just wondering here, you know, the keeper actually went for it with his foot. I'm not, I don't think he saves it anyway, but I'm wondering if he might have might have dislocated his shoulder or done his AC joint because after he made the save he almost wanted to stay down and if you look it goes with his feet I don't think well, I think he's beaten anyway but I think he has got an injury problem Stanek no I think you're absolutely right he, he, he wanted to go with his feet his, his right shoulder with the save that he made I think he's fallen badly on it he's getting treatment right now but <laughs> oh, he wouldn't have stopped it no, I don't think any keeper would have stopped that one no Break. In fact, I think he's going to have to go off here. You know, I think he has. He is going to be replaced here. Matej Kovar about to come on. The uh, Bayer Leverkusen player. They're going to make a triple change here. Check here. They've got. They need two goals now, so they've really got to go after the game. Stanek, his tournament, you would feel, is over. So already lined up to come on, Jan Kushta about to come on, also lined up into the action is Thomas Chori, Thomas Horry sorry, he's coming on, let's see who is going off, we know that Stanek is one that will make his way off, so he is replaced by Kovar. Also going off is Hocek making way he's tried hard had that shot deflected just before the goal and the final one is I'm surprised they've taken him off now whether he's run his race and he's low on gas but I thought he was the one outlet that they had absolutely and the run he made just before half time you know, shows that he's the one person the one individual who can actually hurt Turkey in, in open play We're only 10 minutes into the second half I understand there's a goal down and you want to try and go a little bit more attacking wise but he was the one person who was hurting Turkey yes, indeed so 1-0 Turkey lead 10 gone second half live on Talksport Matt Wilson with Scott Minto the former 
Chelsea starting, here come Turkey again, they're looking to put this one away and the ball just caught on heels as though Yilmaz tried to play them in and that was another chance and Turkey now having got the goal will feel that this game is there for them to counter-attack and win it in some style. Oh, they should see this game out, obviously there's still plenty of time for anything to happen but Czechia down to 10 men, they need two goals. You can't just wait now to the 80th minute and say, right, OK, let's, let's nick a goal. No, they need two. They need to start early. If Turkey play this right, they should be able to tie a Czechia out and score another one a little bit later on. Well, here in elsewhere in the group, there's been a second goal over on TalkSport 2. And it's a penalty for Mika Tadze, Georgia, on their European Championship debut, are 2 0 up against Portugal, and probably just over half an hour away from a place in the last 16. Who saw that coming? Incredible, isn't it? Incredible. A fair play to them, and there is still time, but really the, the changes in the Portugal camp have not quite worked. No, but they're already through as group winners so there is no impact to them no. not in terms of where they go next a little bit of a uh, a foul there in the centre circle Czechia have got a free kick but that goal for Turkey now completely changes things they need two goals here as uh, Socek has it edge of the area forces to foul wide takes it to the byline tries to stand up the ball to the far post he's tried oh they tried to bring it down there wasn't a lot of room there for Hori then the foul uh, challenge comes in and the referee I think eventually has said that it is a foul against Czechia and uh, Thomas Hori is the one uh, who's penalised there was just a shove in the back there that allows the referee to make an easy decision now yeah, we've got to put the, the Turkey side under pressure and it's exactly what Czechia are doing with the substitutions might not necessarily agree with all of them but no doubt about it they've come on and really try to get at Turkey both physically and getting the ball forward a little bit quicker 1-0 yeah. Turkey lead and now on the break Yilmaz is trying to get in behind and in the end they did well a little bit of last ditch defending there from Krejci keeps Turkey out and now the ball out for a throw over on the far side well Adam Harshek has played his cards early here. The goal obviously has forced his hand. Czechia down to 10. Got to win the game to go through. They trail by a goal to nil. Wonderful goal from Chalnoglu. Fired. Unstoppable shot across the goalkeeper into the far post. Couldn't have hit it any better. And now forward. Czechia, they're just being patient. They're not... I just wonder actually if the, if the change is Scott is he is actually just going to play more with more bodies up front and not on the break as they tried to do before absolutely that's what they're trying to do I mean there's no point in just knocking it long every time you get the ball but if they can get the ball a little bit wide there's certainly height up there isn't it now especially with Hori he's still about 64 yeah but he's come on and given away a couple of free kicks and it it's like one of those nights where every time he goes near the ball, he's going to be attracting the attention of the official. Well, he's a, in old-fashioned term, he's a bit of a lump. So he, he does need to be careful. You, know, you want him running around and playing on the edge, you have to. The country's on the verge of just getting knocked out for Euros. He's also got to be disciplined with it. And he has. Looking to try and get themselves back into it. Over on TalkSport 2, Georgia two goals to the good well no one can fault the way that they've played their group games they've gone all out attack whenever they've had the opportunity and Portugal's changes may have just played right into their hands they are going to as it stands go through and Hungary are going to be the team that miss out as the ball played into the penalty area there by Eurosec but nobody on the end of it and forward now goes Cariolo who drives forward Plenty of bodies, Yilmaz made a good run, it'll fall to Goulair, just holds things up now, they're trying to work over on this near side, that's a nice ball from Mulder, down the right side of the penalty area, tries to pick his man out, there's a diving stop in the penalty area there uh, from uh, Krejci, but it goes out for a corner kick. Yeah, it's tough isn't it, because Turkey have such good individuals, they're able to just keep the ball, and then really good play actually, first of all running with it, and then quickly playing it down the sides here's Yilmaz 
Hits it away to Blair. Looks to put the cross in. It's headed away comfortably in the end. I think already we'll see more from Yilmaz in the second half than we did in the entire first half. He's been outstanding, hasn't he? He has, and I think he's almost represented what the team talk would have been. Come on. You know, like, while it's nil-nil and we haven't had a shot on target, you know, those stats are just not good enough. We need to try and put this game to bed and to say where well, they come out at the start of the second half, they do deserve to be a goal. Oh, now then, an acrobatic challenge on the edge of the area there. That came in from uh, Akadin, who's gone over the top of Horry. He's fallen awkwardly, the Turkish defender, but the referee here has given a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area, a bit on the left-hand side. That could have ended uh, rather nastily for the defender who went head over heels and landed on his arm, but hopefully it'll be OK. Yeah, I mean, the cadence come in, it's a, it's a good battle between those two, isn't it? Good physical battle. He's come in from the side and he's fallen down, so he's saying he's hurt his chest. I don't really think he has. I think he knows his elbow. was accidentally, but... That's caught the, the cheekbone of the Hori. And for is marking out the wall as the physios come on to attend to the Turkish defender. It's got too wide for a shot, this is it. No. No. But, but it's so important. You get again, you've mentioned it a few times already. Hit the target. Have to hit the target. Have to make the keeper make some kind of save and then just try and follow it in. Let's get a replay of the, the goal. He could not have hit that channel any better than he struck it. Do you know what? It's just an incredible strike because he's, he's sort of on the left side of the 18-yard the, the box, inside. And he's come onto his right foot and it's almost like he's... His body position is, is trying to go straight, which if it does go straight, it goes well wide. And he's cut across it. It's, it's a beautiful strike. Well, they are going to make a change here. Uh, Israel Yuxet is another one that's been booked. He's making his way from the field. And uh, on comes the West Bromwich Albion player. Kaya Kushlu is into the action. For Turkey. But now they've got a defender free kick. 19 yards away from goal. Towards the left-hand side Hold on, he's over it they've not gone for goal they put the ball in far post and it across goal and palmed away by the keeper I've got to be honest I'm surprised they didn't try a shot there no but uh, yeah absolutely and they, they could well have done but they still created half an opportunity there didn't they get the ball in the box and the ball isn't in the area now but it's out for a goal kick Horry again is on the wrong end of the Official, he's not happy, the big fella. He's come on, he's given away a couple of fouls, but he's also won a free kick and got himself into the penalty area, so he is a, certainly a threat. I like him. I think he's a handful. I think it has come off his thigh. He's trying to just pull one over the wall over the eyes of the referee. I'm not quite sure there what Dunnock was actually doing, because the ball went to the far post, he was headed back in and just catch it. Bounced up and he's kind of carried it out. I think he's just been booked as well for time wasting, I think. I don't know. I think he's just brandished another yellow card. Yilmaz springs the ball down. Now he's driving forward again, looking to get in down the right side. He's gone past his man. Pulls it across goal and it should have been 2 0. A chance there right in front of goal. And Czechia are living on the edge at the moment. Turkey. Any kind of touch on that, and it's 2-0. And now going the other way, check here on the attack, and that's a poor challenge. The Kushler has just come on. I've got to ask the question there, Scott Minto. That's probably one of the worst tackles we've seen, and no yellow card. Well, I need to have another look at it. I think it was covered by a few players, to be fair. We have to say, Tori got up, straight on with it, didn't complain. That was a huge chance again, Yulmaz. That's a perfect ball through the six-yard box. Brilliant. Again, attacking one with pace and power. Led to the goal, very nearly led to number two. So as it stands, Slovakia will take on England in the last 16. And as it stands in this group, it's Turkey and Georgia who are going through with the group and as Portugal. Long throw to the edge of the area, flicked on again by Czechia. Keeper comes, drops it, chance, cleared off the line, must be, and fired in! 
the equaliser for Czechia, and it's Thomas Solcek who blasts it in. The initial chance was cleared off the line. Suchek fires in, and Czechia are alive and kicking. Czechia won, Turkey won. Well, we will have a VAR check here. Uh, I, I, I want this goal to stand. I think you've got a centre forward who's coming in. The goalkeeper's got to be stronger, and if he doesn't feel he can catch it, then he punches it. Well, we said earlier he should, should have caught it, and he's parried it out. Looking at a possible offside, he's not. Gone in for a challenge. Or oh, he's such a big man, isn't he? <laughs> I don't want to use the word lump again, but he really can cause goalkeeper problems. He's done nothing wrong, he's looked at the ball, he's gone for it. The keeper's got to just punch it away, he's tried to catch it, it's bounced down, he's had the shot, he's come off the line, and in the end, Thomas Suchek, I mean, how many times have we seen him in the right place, the right time in a West Ham shirt? Good strike that, good finish. Game on. Yeah, we've not yet restarted, it would be brutal if this was the disallowed, because Adam Horry's done anything wrong. They are checking it, as you would expect, referee waiting. 1-1 one, one as it stands. I just don't think Horry did a great deal. Well, I think the keeper's got to come and punch that. But now, Czechia get worried because the longer this goes on, the more you would feel that this could be chalked off. So Czech's goal. It's almost like you know, VAR taking their time is meaning that they're trying to find a way to disallow it. But still not quite sure. They must be looking at... Well, the, the referee's walked towards as though he's going to go off the side of the pitch and now he's walked back again. It's unbelievable. And again, if you're looking and looking and looking, then don't overturn it. It's not a clear and obvious error. The check is over. It is 1-1. One, one. And more yellow cards have been brandished to people on the sidelines. Backroom staff of Turkey, a substitute, the substitute goalkeeper. Shakir has gone into the book now. 1-1 one, one, and this game and this group all of a sudden now is on a knife edge. Thomas Socek and the Czechia fans are going crazy. Down to 10, seemingly down and out and they've got a lifeline. Brilliant. And that was the way. Just get it in the box. You're down to, to 10 men against a really good technical side. You bring on, to be fair, you have to say to, to the manager necessarily agree with one of the plays he brought off but he's brought on a couple of plays who can really make a hand for themselves Rory being the main one since he's come on he's made a nuisance of himself and he certainly did there do you know what I'm really pleased the officials have, have let that that count that that's what we want to see you know we don't want to be I mean, overruling goals or something like that. Well, almost an error at the back from Akadian, who, in fairness, was really unlucky, but they almost playing themselves into trouble, Turkey, here. Akadian did so well to clear the hurry effort off the line, but there was Sochek to blast it in. Interesting how Turkey react. They look comfortable, but there's 21 minutes, and they will be added on time due to that VAR check. We've had a couple of injuries as well. Ball flicked on, check here giving chase and it's hammered out. Turkey at the moment look like they've just taken them on the chin and they're a little bit wobbly at the back. Absolutely, and get the long throw in, get the ball in the box, especially after you've just scored. They look vulnerable, Turkey, don't they? They do. The long throw is going to be propelled in again. So foul, flicked on again towards the far post. Will it sit down? It just wouldn't sit down and the referee eventually I think is given... A free kick, but that was half a chance there. And it was Jan Kushka, it fell to the far post, just couldn't get his shot away. Well, he's the one who hasn't made the, the impact as yet. It's, it's all been Ori. And I tell you what, the more they can get the ball in the box, the more they travel Turkey. Great run from the fullback, Cut Kadiolu now, can he slide it in? No, he can't. Holesh clears it away, 1-1 one, one here. Now a point is still good enough for Turkey. If Czechia were to score again, it will be they who go through. Oh, what a final 20 minutes we've got. And it's down to Turkey now and the senior players to get hold of the ball, to get control of the tempo of the game again, because there's no doubt about it, it's been wrestled away from them. And they look on the back foot, the defenders look nervous now on the ball. So if the likes of Channel Olu, even youngsters, Yildiz and Goulet, need to get on the ball just try and quieten this Czechia crowd. Yeah, and they will be making lots of noise for the rest of this game. It was Anfield when uh, 
a slightly apart, but well beaten by Liverpool in, in Europe. They were, it was 6-0 down, they were still deafening everything there. And there's plenty of them there tonight. 1-1. Trickier, a player down after 20 minutes. Went a goal down in the second half. A great goal from Kelanolu. And Czechia have got a well-deserved equaliser. Can they now get a second? Reminder, in this group, over on TalkSport 2 right now, Portugal nil, Georgia 2. Hungary as it stands are the side that drop out of the best third-place finishers. They're the big losers tonight as it stands. Ball forward, Turkey trying to play a long ball over the top, Polish with a good header, picked up by Granach who drives forward over halfway, he's trying to draw a uh, challenge, the ball breaks further forward, he's still giving chase and he's going to win the ball, and that's a very soft foul I think, given away by the Czechia defender, and a free kick for Turkey. Yeah, but even, you know, the likes of Uri when he come on, he's given away a few fouls but the, the intensity has been up even with 10 men and even though you don't really want to be giving away fouls like that it, the Turkish team know exactly what they're in the game now you know, they were in control just before half time or up to half time up to that chance just before half time the start of the second half started really well went 1-0 up in complete control it's definitely Czechia now very much in this game yep yeah, now here come Turkey though trying to break down the far side chance to break into the penalty area here delayed shot goes past his man once twice and then it's cleared away for a corner and I think that was uh, Yildiz again he's got this want to try and beat his man two or three times it looked like he created the shooting opportunity but didn't pull the trigger yeah do you know what is really good defending from Soufal one on one situation Polish came over and he stayed on his feet, Soufal, so by the time he did a couple of tricks, he was able to just kick the ball away. Here's the corner. A chance at the near post there for Yilmaz. Missed control, but not cleared. And now the danger cross comes in. Good hands. Matej Kovar has only been on the field, what, 10, 15 minutes. Not had anything to do, but he came up with a good bit of handling there. More changes incoming here as both managers try and steer their ship towards the last 16 here come Czechia down their left hand side they've got in here chance for Juracek and then he just miscontrolled it done the hard bit but he couldn't keep it in place touch lets him down yeah he's got the pace on him hasn't he and certainly a, a very quick player just that first touch overplayed it and then he's just testing his calves as if like Gramps coming on and this is where Czechia have given it absolutely everything and you're right to to mention the sending off as early as the 20th minute not easy to play such a long game such a tough game tiring mentally and physically just with 10 men yeah well they there are three subs stripped and ready to come on into the action on the sideline but the referees not let them come on just yet they're inside the final 17 you're live on talk sport Mark Wilson the former Chelsea star Scott Minto here Natalie Sawyer guiding you through the night and Natalie will have the uh, algebra tables out ready to work out what's going on in the last 16 oh, she'll be ready good stuff all works its way forward as it stands it will be England against Slovakia in the last 16 right are the subs coming on now they are we'll start off with Czechia who are about to take off Provod he makes way and Provod will make way for Andre Linga who comes on the Feyenoord man now we're going to see a couple of substitutes for Turkey one of those making way is Yildiz who goes off he is going to be replaced by Cenk Tosun you know of course from his days in the Premier League and here that sub for Turkey about to be made as well on will come back to Kolu who uh, got the goal in uh, match day one Arda Gula is the uh, player that makes way yeah interesting he's gone for a little bit more experience there there's no doubt the talent the two wingers that have just come off and that's about seeing the game out 
using as much experience as possible. 15 minutes remaining. Check your winner header into the area, but it's just a slip right on the edge of the box. They could have been in on goal there, and now forward come Turkey. Over on this near side, Yilmaz has it, looks to draw two, three defenders to him. Gets it away to Kalanoglu, and the ball now is worked forward. And forward go Turkey. They don't need another goal, but another goal surely would put them in the last 16. Georgia 2-0 to the good over on Talksport 2, seemingly into the last 16 against a much-changed Portugal. Here now, Turkey have it. Just playing keep ball on the near side. Mulder gets it away to Chalanolu, who got the goal that seemingly had Turkey going to a routine success against 10-man Czechia. And that Socek equaliser has really opened this game up. And Tosin goes to the ground looking for a soft free kick. The referee's having none of it. Czechia play forward here, inside their own half. They're certainly putting more bodies forward here. They're playing now over on the far side where the substitute Linger gets a good touch and plays it off. Are they going to put the cross in? No, they're looking for the cross field switch on this near side. Eurosec. Oh, as his touch let him down. No, he keeps it in, and he's going to earn a corner. Great play. Corner for Czechia. And this, you feel, is where their best chance may come. Absolutely, and you've got to give a lot of credit to Czechia. Substitutions made, intensity's been upped. we will come back into the game 1-1. One, one. And what was the best of touches there from the USA? But he managed to just get it back just before it went over the line and now he's won his team the corner where they have looked their most dangerous a uh, bottle has just been thrown on the field at Vladimir Sofal and now a couple of empty uh, pint pots as well don't want to see that and there are a few Turkish fans in that part of the ground here comes the corner then 1-1 one, one. check here with a set piece keeper comes and this time his handling was decisive and he bowls the ball out but he's given it straight back to check here Probably not what the uh, Turkish team wanted there with 12 minutes left. Well, I'll tell you what, in the last five or so minutes, it looks like Czechia has got the extra man, not Turkey. Well, they've been brave and they've put a worker in here behind. Oh, he just timed his run wrong there. Oh, he could have maybe got on the end of that, but he didn't. And it goes out for a goal kick. 12 to go here. Two days off of the live football, but don't worry, talks ball will guide you through these troubled times. We'll be back on Saturday with more live games, two of them from the last 16. I don't think I can handle that two, two days off after times three a day. Oh, we'll all have the shakes on Friday. Good news today that the EFL new contract with Talksport and Talksport 2 as the cross comes in from Czechia. Great ball in, diving header. Clears it away and it's out on the near side for a throw in. Well, I think the Czechia fans, whatever the outcome of this game, Scott, they'll be proud of the way that their team are having a right old go at this. That's exactly the word I was going to use as well. They should be very proud of these players here. Long throw into the area. This time it's headed away by Turkey. Not often we've been able to say that. Juracek will get it back. Puts in a, a tired cross. And that's cleared away as well. There were six red shirts waiting for that. Holesh has it on halfway. He will look for the crossfield ball. It's run on the edge of the area. Ball just bobbles in and around the box and is cleared away by Turkey. Holesh against Tosin. They're, they're gambling one-on-one -on -one at the back oh, now, check here. They are, and that's actually really good defending as well. Tosin's a strong lad, but Holesh is good in front of him. In fact, they've gone wrong, but they've been four on goal from the halfway line. Here come Czechia again. They're starting to win a lot of balls in and around the edge of the area. Linga fields it wide. Juracek pulls it back. There was a scuffed effort from Linga, and it's cleared away by Turkey. who are just starting to wobble a little bit here. There's a wrestling match, and again, the referee says, get on with it. Turkey protests. Cross whipped in. It's too deep, is it? No, they'll keep it in at the far post. It's pulled back here. A chance for Kushta. Just takes him away from goal. Sufal whips it into the far post and Linga heads it wide. They wanted a corner, but it was a, more a, an appeal rather than an expectation. And now another booking for Turkey here. And uh, that is uh, the number 18 who's going to book Mert Mulder, the fullback. Turkey are on the ropes here. They are. They really are. You know, when the defenders are getting the ball, they're just booting it away. They're not able to get hold of the ball that they had it at the start of the second half. 
And Czechia, as I say, they look like they've got 11 men, and it's Turkey who got 10, very much on the back foot. Yeah, so another change made, and uh, I think Eurosec, no surprise, Scott has gone off. Like, in fairness, he's run his race, made a couple of great runs, including that first half when he had that excellent shot, well saved by the keeper, but he, I think he's given everything he's got, there's nothing left. Well, he did well to keep up with Hitler there, didn't he, with that chance before half-time, and he has, he's, he's, he's bombed up and down the left side, I think he was spot on, you called it his last cross a tired cross, is what it was. Well, Eurosec is replaced by Eurosec, that is Eurosec into the action for Czechia, down to 10 after 20 minutes, so when a goal down, Chalanohu at the start of the second half, a wonderful strike across the goalkeeper, Turkey in front against 10 and cruising, but Czechia made changes and those changes have worked and they're into the area again here, they're in on goal, Kusta has scored but the referee has blown up. Now at what point did the referee blow the whistle here because there were defenders falling down in front of Jan Kusta. Is this a foul? Oh, there's a bit of a push. Then he drives through the challenge of Demerel. Demerel falls on the ball, handles the ball. I'll tell you what, that's pretty soft. Well, I, I think the initial, you could argue, was Codiolo handballing it. And then Kush just pushed him over. Now, Holesh has tried to kick the ball away. He's fallen down. He's, he's not going to be overturned this. This will not be a goal. No, sadly not from a Czechia perspective, but again, they're knocking on the door, aren't they? They are. They've had double the shots on target that Turkey have had, despite being a player down for over an hour now. That's incredible. That's incredible, and it shows how much that Turkey have lost complete control of this game. Yeah. See John Alulu try to, at times, get hold of the ball, even drop deep and just try to get some passes going, but not everybody's on his level. And the way that Czechia just coming in, just up the intensity, even with 10 men, is really impressive. For with Turkey, seven minutes plus added on time, remaining in Hamburg. Czechia score, they will go through and knock Turkey out. The last 16 start on Saturday, but in effect the knockout has started right here tonight. And Czechia are giving it everything, despite being a player down. Antonin Barak sent off two bookings inside eight minutes. Sent off from 20 minutes. Czechia have given everything. Turkey actually now are just getting the ball down and passing it around. It's like someone's told them, look, just keep the ball, you don't need to do anything else. But Czechia, to be fair, again. Well, they've gone long here, Tosson trying to get on the end of it, but the keeper, Kovar, out to collect it. The Czechia have been clever in terms of how they press, they've made the keeper knock it long, they've got the ball back now. On this near side, they'll play it down the touchline, but the uh, substitute, that is Eurosec, just knocks it out of play. More remonstrations, more yellow cards for people not playing, who is it this time? I think it might be one of the goalkeepers again. They're all getting involved here, aren't they? Yaros it is, the Liverpool goalkeeper, I think, who's been booked. Now he's calling out someone else. I he's got a lot of pages in that book. <laughs> I was going to say, he's going to write a book tonight in the report, isn't he? It's a, it's a, you know what, though? He's shown it's a passionate game. Fair play to Czechia for making a game of this. He's absolutely right. He's, he's claimed that it should be a, a Czechia throw. He's given the other way. Yeah. It wasn't apparent at first glance. You can see why it was missed. but And it was right in front of the, the bench as well. It wasn't was. It, and here now, Eurosec, the sub, he's flat. And that's going to be a foul. And that'll be another yellow card. A Kaiden goes into the book. Well, there'll be some people at home who were listening to William Hill earlier doing their bet builders. If the back yellow cards will be all right. <laughs> not wrong. And at some point, Turkey are going to have a player getting sent off. And, you know, the manager's already taken players off who are on yellow cards, but there's plenty out there who are just one tackle away. The question is, will it be enough to check in, enough time to get and win this, get this win? All played into the area. Oh, I couldn't get the header on it at the far post. Disappointment there. 
Croatia was up from the back, so Samet Akadin will miss the next game. He is picked up a second booking. The problem for the manager is that many of his players have been booked and that many of his subs have been booked. He doesn't know who to bring on and who to leave off. They're going to make another change, Turkey, here. I think just to try and deny time and it is so noticeable now check here they're just going man on man at the back they are wide open but Turkey to be fair have not had the chance to break them down no they haven't the spot on tactics from Czechia really is keep it going long all the time having to deal with two on two or three v three at the back up to now they've dealt with it well well they have but here could be an opportunity for Turkey they're driving forward into the edge of the area Trying to get the shot away, they'll lay it back here to the edge of the area. Yokuslu hits it just over the top. Rather cut across it, it was always a little bit too high for the West Brom midfielder. And it's just over the top. Still 1-1, four minutes of the 90 remaining. I think there'll be at least that to be added on at the end of it. So this is far from over. Maybe Chanololo to just cut across that, didn't he? You can see it, ball going over. People knows it as well. Last 20, 25 minutes has been, it's been all Czechia. Welcome, Kirkshu coming in for Chalanolu, who's run his race. Well, we're hoping to keep him for the last 16. Scored a wonderful goal tonight that may well see his country through to the last 16. And Kirkshu comes on, hoping to see it out. To be fair, Czech have not had as much of the ball in dangerous positions and now they could be about to be broken open here as Tosin wins the header. It's played out on the near side. Here now comes Yilmaz. It's it away. Edge of the area. Lays it off. And now Turkey just go back to halfway. I think last 10 minutes they've just got a better grip of the game, Turkey. Maybe that Czech are just running out of steam. As we go inside the final few minutes, lovely ball into the edge of the area, nice turn, but the ball's going to be cleared away. And it was uh, Aktakolu who had the opportunity, he's been in the box a couple of times. Czechia give away a foul, right on halfway, just as they thought they were going to break away, so Czech penalised. Yeah, just in the last couple of minutes, Turkey have realised what they actually need to do and just pass the ball. And even if it means going backwards, just, just get Czechia to move around. And up until now, they've just been, when they have had the ball, they've either been giving it away or keepers having to knock it long. It's much better from Turkey. It is. And Mars gets it away. And the ball lays it back. And Caden plays it back into the centre circle. Czechia come out now, they're trying to press because this is the area they want to win the ball. Oh, almost. Well, they scored a really poor own goal in the in the second game, but now they've played it long. There was almost a miscommunication at the back again there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if that same thing happened again? With just literally minutes to go, seconds to go. And Keeper would come out of his area, almost to play the sweeper keeper, and the centre-half almost knocked it past him. They win the flick on here, edge of the area, check here. Tried to play it across the face of goal, and it's cleared away, and now the break again for Turkey. If they want to commit bodies forward, then the game is there to be won, and they are committing bodies forward. Here now is Tilson, he's got support with him, he'll play it out, and he's played it too deep. Well, that was an opportunity in the 90th minute for Cenk Tilson to wrap this game up, and Turkey don't get a shot away. No, they don't, and it's, it's actually poor from the substitute. He's got to be able to read the situation and play a better weighted pass in there. Czechia just giving it absolutely everything. Going pretty much man-to-man -man as much as they possibly can. Should have taken advantage of that. Good work there from Horry. Did well after Kushta attracted defenders to him. Here they come then. Czechia in the last minute. Can they fashion an opportunity? The cross always slipped when he went to put it in. Gurasek and it's hammered away. All eyes on the fourth official. Got at least four. I was just about to say that. It's got to be four or five, hasn't it? We did have a VAR check for the goal. It wasn't the longest one, but we had a lot of stoppages, a lot of bookings, a lot of substitutions. Ball into the edge of the Turkish area again. It's headed away. It'll fall to Eurosec. Is he going to hit it? Gets it on his right foot. Has a shot. It's blocked. It was worth an effort. Six added on minutes. Wow. Oh, now a free kick given away there. And that was so unnecessary from Krejci. And he's got yet another booking in this match. Oh my goodness, mate. They really have totted up. And it, it's a foul that Krejci just can't make. I know he's tired. 
but he's given the not just the ball away but the impetus Yilmaz again I think that's what he's shown especially in the second half the early part of the second half more so but whenever he's been on the ball he's been a danger and I think the pressure just basically thought I can't have him running at me again he's given away a foul he's got a yellow card and now Turkey are just trying to run down the clock so as it stands Portugal were group winners we knew that already tonight Turkey with a point here should they get one will finish second above Georgia who will finish in third place and will qualify as one of the four best place third place sides and that means that Hungary were in the last 16 prior to tonight are going out 1-1 one, one here there is still time, there is still hope for Czechia who would turn everything on its head if they were to win this match. They just need one more chance, don't they? One more chance. They take that now. It's been an unbelievable sort of final 30 minutes. Really, got to give credit to the manager for making the substitutions. Has changed the game. They just went on the front foot, didn't they? They, they said, we're going to play in your half. But Turkey now, Yilmaz again will break not too many white shirts committing forward but they have made runs into the area Yilmaz here with a chance to win it shoots straight at the keeper in a way that would have been quite apt because I think he has been superb in the second half down the right coming inside another great bit of skill would have stuck that in the top corner would have said fair enough but still Czechia believe they can get that one more chance well Czechia have got a player down holding his face the referee said play on and now Czechia have won it back, Jurasek has it in his own half, plays it into the centre circle. The player who was down has now got up, which maybe tells you everything about that particular challenge. So Czech gets it to Jurasek on the near side, is he going to knock it past his man? He is. Can he deliver a cross? Oh, he can, but it's too deep. There were three waiting. Two and a half of the minimum, six added on. Czechia one, Turkey one. It's Turkey as it stands, going through to the round of 16, which starts on the TalkSport Network on Saturday evening, five o'clock. What a shame there. Juracek believe he's got the pace on Mulder, I think he has. He's really, really tired. And he's just almost old-fashioned left wing plate, but the cross itself looked tired. It did. Well, they've still got time. Juracek getting a lot of ball on the left. Held up in the centre circle. Socek gets it away. They deliver set-piece opportunity in and around the area. Can they get one? They're working it now. Kush has it. Try to play in. Linger down that right-hand side. Turkey now will just hammer it away from goal. Anywhere will do as far as they're concerned. Over three of the minimum six added on have gone. Czech here are just launching it long. It's headed back away. This time Turkey might opt to bring it down and play. And there are five white shirts now rushing forward. Only three defenders back. Ball works its way out to Tosin on the far side. He's got three, four teammates with him. He's going to go for glory himself. Shoots and scores! Czech Tosin sends Turkey through to the last 16. The Czechia players fall to their knees in despair. They've given everything Czechia. But a moment of quality from the substitute. Czech Tosin puts Turkey in front and into the last 16. Well, just a minute or so ago, he overplayed a pass in the box that he didn't need to. The boys, he made up for that now. Czechia's heart's broken. But Turkey's dreams go on. And actually, it was a really good finish. Giving the keeper no chance whatsoever. Bovar was getting nowhere near it. It's an uh, amazing end to the game. An amazing second half. And Czechia have been superb. They really have. Unfortunately, it ended up being five versus three, I think it was. And it was really good play in the end. Just holding the ball up. Tosin gets the ball on the edge of the box on the left-hand side. He comes inside, shapes the shoot. And then he does the second time. He's tired defending from Sufal. No one else gets near him. Holly should be getting closer. But he's wrapped it round his leg. As I say, Kovar, no chance whatsoever. In the side netting. Game over. Turkey through to the next round. 
two great finishes from Turkey. They might not hit the target a lot, but when they have tonight, it's counted. Heartbreak for Czechu, who are out. We know that Georgia have won in the other game in this group by two goals to nil against Portugal. They are through for the first ever time to the round of 16. I think if there's one complaint for Czechs, it's in this last 15 minutes, the delivery into the box that hasn't quite been good yeah, enough. They look, they're tired, they've given it absolutely everything, but you're right, if they were going to find a way to come back from 1-0 down, with one man down, that delivery into the box that they had for about sort of 15, 20 minutes, just kind of deserted them. They've given it absolutely everything, though, I have to say, and again, I go back to that word you used earlier, the fans, the country, should be very proud of the players and the the performance they put in. They are. Referee looks at his watch. We played the minimum of six. Turkey just happy here to waste time. Ball is coming back, back into play courtesy of a free kick inside their own half. They'll just hammer it long now. Referee puts his whistle to his lips. Not blown it just yet. So foul heads it out on the far side. But Turkey are seconds away from a place in the last 16 and despite playing against 10 for much of the game they haven't had it all their own way far from it as there's a foul on the edge of the area referee says get on with it check here we'll launch it long we're deep inside the seventh added on minute here it's been an eventful game it's been an eventful group in which portugal turkey and georgia will progress to the last 16 Czechia the team that will miss out and still we play on here but Czechia know their race is run they've been brave they were down to 10 after just 20 minutes Antonin Barak was sent off Chalanoglu produced a wonderful finish to put Turkey in front and seemingly the last 16 but Czechia went for broke and Thomas Suchek got the goal with a quarter of the game remaining to make it 1-1 and it meant a goal for Czechia would have put them through but they couldn't quite fashion any more clear opportunities and Turkey deep in added on time Cenk Tulsan with the goal that means it's Turkish delight here in Hamburg someone has run onto the pitch but that won't spoil the Turkish celebrations the players are all there is pushing and subbing so Cenk is not happy there might be more yellow cards after the game here it's been a bad tempered affair at times not been helped out by the officials who have shown multiple yellow cards but it's Turkey who make it through they did not have it all their own way tonight there's more pushing and shoving on the field and Czechia may have gone out of this tournament and now there's red card being brandished I think it's Horry who's being shown the red card the referee here has still got some work to do a controversial ending and I won't lie, I've simply lost count of how many. Well, Arda Gula has just been shown a yellow card after he's been substituted off, so there may well be more fallout for the next shot here. What a bizarre ending to a really entertaining game here. Wow, in Hamburg, Rupert has not disappointed. Portugal go through, along with Turkey and Georgia. For Czechia, it was a brave effort, but they are out. It ends in Hamburg. Czechia 1, Turkey 2.